I'm not really hear nothing I move around. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I know why I'm there. Anxiety killed me. Hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in if you are new here please go ahead and click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified whenever i upload a new video and to my returning family thank you guys for tuning in today is that day we are going to discuss shopping on aliexpress but first i have a unboxing to do and this is a juva's place mystery box unboxing this was for halloween which was the 31st of october so i got a mystery box i have no idea what is in this box as i say mystery so i go open the box and now talk about aliexpress guys my nerves are hurt and i will want to see what in the box here see it? the box I'm not really hear nothing I move around. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I don't know why I'm there. Anxiety has killed me. Alright. Open the box. The box is open. I'm still can't see what in the box. I have no idea. This is all I see. What is? I am scared. I'm gonna know. I'm afraid for opening it. I'm afraid. Give me some time. Give me some time. I'm so ready. I'm so ready. Alright. Let's open the box. Whoa! <gasps> String, wait a minute. Wait a ready for this, you know. We're not ready for this. We're not ready for this. What in our box? We don't want to see what in there. We're not ready for this. Cause me not think we're ready, you know. Me not think we're cause me not ready. Come on, me can't believe. Me can't believe what in our. First of all, go shop. Go shop. Be extra and stand by. Guys, oh my goodness, my art. This is absolutely gorgeous. I love this bag, and by the feel of it, something in there, some things in there. This is the back and it has the Juba's place logo and then the princesses, the queens at the front. You no matter what in there or no win, or no, the mystery bag win, it win, it win. I'm nervous, really. I'm nervous. I'm literally afraid. I'm glad to me I do this with Uno. So, because I don't have a clue what you know about. As I'm saying, I'm sure I know if you can see it still. Yeah, see? Mystery bag. I literally don't have never know said this in there. I don't know what in there. Just know I'm nervous. I'm nervous. What is a freak? A freak blush. She's called Bella. I 
What if I seal seal up with something like this so far? Then I know it's true. And I have my patience, you know. the packaging here then after this now come out I mean I want to tear up the box you know how the box look nice this is little and cute no joke I love this personally I don't use blush but I love this I don't use blush. I'm not a blush person. Never used blush before. But I like this. Now we have Juva's Eyeshadow Ethiopia. And this is what it looks like. The name is on the sticker Ethiopia. So I'm just going to put that in it. Oh, it's a just a tan shadow this is fine this is absolutely i love brown and neutral colors so this is absolutely perfect for me i have no issue with this whatsoever so anyways we're going back in this do something big oh this is what's this Serafina, and this looks like a freak blush again Another blush. Oh, 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 me like it. Me like all this, you know. Yeah, it look blush. It is this look like an actual blush. Oh, I got a brush. Super soft, by the way. This is my second JP brush. I have the the signature one, the, the coral and the white one. I have that one. Send me another brush. This is a JP highlighter brush. Number one. Oh my god. They do this place. And the last thing I think of is the Nubian. Alright. I have the mini version of this. I have the mini version. But I'm going to open it to see if it's actually the same thing or the mini it is the larger one I actually did really want the palette here because once again me in love like literally in love with the colors the neutrals and the browns and the shimmer oh god no no but I absolutely love this but instead I ended up buying the smaller version which only has I think six six of the colors so I am very happy that I actually got the one that I wanted I do not regret purchasing the mystery bag at all because number one I really wanted this bag but I didn't know that the mystery bag was coming in this. I just think they're going to package it like how they package them regular stuff. Just, you know, put it in a, put in a mirror and then put it in another box and ship it. I never know, say, it can come in another bag. So when I saw the bag, I said, oh my God, oh my God. Well, of course, I don't see, oh my, yeah, the oh my God and the yeah. So it, it, it worked out for me. What would have made this epic if they would send me a masquerade, <laughs> a masquerade palette? But love that palette they got to bed, and I think I'm going to buy it for my Christmas. The mystery bag, I think, it consists of five items. 
So not me just count and see if I actually got five. So I got the new Ben palette. I got two two Afric blush. So that's three. A uh, pan eyeshadow. Four. Two, four. And that brush. Which is five. And I got the bag, which is six. Interesting. Oh my god, I have to show you the inside of this bag. This, this is absolutely gorgeous. This coral is beautiful. Like, it looks like one nice little lunch kit. I love it. I love it. I, love it. I have a matchstick, a shade stick from Juvia's Place. And I have the I Am Magic Foundation, but I got the I Am Magic Foundation just a tad darker. So, of course, I'm going to be reordering again and I'm going to order one shade up from the one that I actually ordered. I ordered Angola and I was, which is 140, I'm supposed to be 150 based on what the Angola showed me because it is a little bit dark. Oh, <sighs> sorry. My other problem, you know? My other problem, like, seriously, my other problem. And I promised you, I not buy as much makeup as me used to. No. I get slow. I'm not buying as much makeup anymore. Uh, I just ordered them online in bulk. That bad? I think that bad? That not bad though. I don't think that bad either. I have a treat to sell up once in a while. So, AliExpress is one of those, you know, shopping website, Amazon, eBay, regular shopping website. You can go on and buy whatever your necessities, your whatever you basically want or need. You can get it on AliExpress. What I have found out recently is that some of the things that you might find on aliexpress um you may not find them on amazon or um ebay i don't know why that is but i have also recently found out that they are much bigger than amazon and ebay put together so that would explain it one thing i can tell you about aliexpress is they are cheaper than amazon and ebay and also them things them look nice like them things them up there like on point yeah 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 and basically i'm doing this to by the way this is called my husband gave me my husband's friend gave me this idea that i should make thursdays tips by trisha a tips by trisha our Thursdays tips with Trisha's. All right, here one I got for me. I gonna put it to her vote. Zin, we are going to do tips every um Thursday, right? I need a name for it. Should I call it yeah, Trisha's tips Thursdays or Thursday tips with Trisha? So once again. Should I make it Trisha's tips Thursdays or Thursday tips with Trisha? So let me know in the comment section which one sounds better and let us move on. You can basically find whatever you want for AliExpress, whatever you want a shoes, a handbag, a ears ring, ear, clothes, shoes, whatever, electronics, whatever. Now, many people get this wrong or confused by thinking that AliExpress is all china based like a pure chinese seller on aliexpress no that is not true that is not true you have sellers from germany um us you have russian sellers so you don't only have china sellers on aliexpress and not everything on aliexpress is from china they may be manufactured from there made there but you can get shipping they have wholesalers from the u.s as well 
so you can actually get your stuff much quicker and you know you might pay like a little two dollar three dollars extra but at least you will get your stuff and that is one of the main concerns that most people have with AliExpress the waiting time to the quality of the stuff. Basically, you're just going to open AliExpress, right? And just select like a random thing that you want to order. Some sellers on AliExpress, you will see their different shipping methods. Now, with everybody, most persons that shop on AliExpress, them, them not really go through the shipping and the the options. You see me? I said them just buy and yeah, that is it. Now, this is where you guys are doing something wrong. When you are shopping on AliExpress, you have to really read one read the reviews reviews are very important and reviews are what helped me shop on aliexpress to look on the shipping that you are selecting you have different different types of shipping on aliexpress and most of them are accurate so depending on the type of shipping that you select on aliexpress that kind of Will give you a rough idea as to when you're actually getting your goods. DHL, FedEx, EMS, those are accurate. If them say you get your package tomorrow 12 o'clock, you can put on your pattern and say you get your package tomorrow 12 o'clock. Right? That is for DHL and FedEx and I think EMS as well. I've used those three so far on AliExpress. Everything was from AliExpress. And my wedding dress, I shipped that to DHL. The groom suit, FedEx. And the groomsman, FedEx, I think. And some other supplies for myself, I shipped them to EMS. Now we have other shipping um, methods such as e-packet and AliExpress standard shipping, AliExpress premium shipping, China Post. AliExpress standard shipping is not the one that you want to use. But it is the one that most people use because they don't know of the other shipping methods. And you might think the others cost their arm and a leg. Really, they don't. For like DHL, DHL might cost you an extra 10 or $15. Some sellers offer FedEx for free. And some offer e-packet for free. So e-packet shipping is the shipping method that I used for everything except my wedding stuff basically as in the, the clothing items i shipped through dhl because i needed those urgently just in case i needed to make any adjustments so all the clothing the rooms and suits and everything and the dresses i shipped those through dhl dhl and fedex and i paid like an extra ten dollars e-packet shipping is one of my personal favorites because as I said they're very reliable and most sellers offer it for free so you don't even have to pay an extra and if you do have to pay extra it's like a one or two dollars you're paying extra if I could say you, you receive your goods the 10th of February you receive your goods the 10th of February and if they have any delays it probably like a two or three days delay that much I can tell anybody about e-packet shipping so number one shipping is e-packet definitely definitely hands down what most people don't know about aliexpress is them don't really explore aliexpress like i did and i learned that the hard way because when i just started shopping on aliexpress just like everybody else i'm just like regular shipping and i'm gonna know not i'm just buy things because them look good now i experienced this with my bridesmaid dresses and I ship them through AliExpress standard shipping, which is the shipping that everybody uses on AliExpress. Now, as I am new to AliExpress at the time, so I had no idea. I just a buy and ship, right? And delivery day, I could have worked quick because the wedding was, you know, in October. So I said, all right, you know what? Buy it and... So I say a month passed. The delivery date passed. 
I'm going to give them some time because you know it's the cold corona thing and delays and whatever. And a month passed, a message the seller, and this is another thing that people don't know. You can actually talk to the sellers. Every vendor that I purchased from on AliExpress for my wedding stuff, I'm going to make sure I tell them to listen. Them things are urgent, them very important. Please do not miss them up. Ship them like right, right now. And may I tell you, they were awesome. But anyway, so one month passed for the bridesmaid dresses and them not come. So I messaged the seller and I asked her what was going on with my dresses. Why? I'm just saying, come in. So she said, you know, because of the whole corona, this blah, 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 you can have delays. So I said, all right, give them some time. It's not like I need to dress them now. And what I wanted to do was get them in early enough. So if there is any adjustments to be made, I would have made the adjustments. So still there waiting, waiting. July. I said, okay, no, I cannot wait because from July to September was the period where I was trying to get everything in order for the wedding in October. So I want, did want to make sure I say everything did in a place. So when I see them, they not come. I start losing it because everything else was already here, right? Everything else except my brother's new dresses. And I was going to get them customized because I was going to add bling on them. So I didn't need them for coming in, right? July, no dress. So of course, mm -hmm. it's just a lot. And my experience issues, I must say, all right, I'm tired for hearing this now because when I give me the same story over and over and over and over again, and it just now add up, it just now makes sense. I got the bridesmaid dresses in the first week of August. So I was like, there must be another way. There must be another way. But during this time, this waiting period and cussing them out, I was actually doing some research on AliExpress because I wanted to know how can I not have to go through this because I intend to continue purchasing more from AliExpress. So I was like, how can I not go through this long waiting process again? Right? So it was, I Google, Google is everybody's best friend. So Google and everything, and that is when I realized that e package shipping was the best way to go. Because one, you don't have to pay for it. Well, from some sellers, you don't have to pay for it. And the delivery date is actually accurate. So. Of course, no. Everything that I was buying after that was shipped through e packet And if the seller don't offer e packet shipping, I don't buy it. I get it from another seller. Because if I don't have to pay an extra ten dollars for DHL, I don't want to. So I just run through, scroll through, and see where I can get e packet shipping. I was thinking about honeymoon, and I was like, all right, I need clothes to bring back my honeymoon clothes and so I ordered my clothes for my honeymoon in the middle of September the middle of September and by the first week of October I got all my clothes clothes shoes swimsuits everything and I shipped them through e-package shipping and the quality I got so many compliments on everything and everybody was like which way I get this I'm like AliExpress and them jaw literally jaw customers say AliExpress that all and you wait for this and they're like probably a week or two and they must say no man no man and I, I didn't know it was such a big thing because me I say everybody's supposed to know this apparently they never know so everybody was doing the standard shipping the AliExpress standard shipping that is the one that you can wait and forever and eternity forget your things then then you also have aliexpress premium shipping probably the same thing like dhl except i've never used that one before so i can't really you know elaborate on it because i have no idea about that shipping because as i said once me find a shipping will work for me i'm gonna have a pay fee automatically stick to it because you're trying to save money while you know you look nice it was just a matter of that for me AliExpress um, premium shipping, you pay like $15, $20, $30, $40, $50, $60, $70, $80, $90, $100, $200, $300, $400, $500, $600, $700, $800, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000, $1000
ten dollars around that amount of money I pay for the premium shipping for EMS same thing some shippers offer it for free and for high-end items like wedding stuff strictly DHL them offer strictly DHL strictly FedEx because they know how urgent and important those things are so some sellers you will not see AliExpress shipping at all or e-package shipping you're going to just see DHL and FedEx for high-end stuff like wedding stuff you're going to just see those type of shipping you also have China Post shipping China Post shipping is what they ship smaller items in I got some shades and earrings my jewelry that I wore on my wedding day and on my honeymoon I got them AliExpress again and those were shipped through China Post now you don't have the option to choose because they are smaller items so you're not going to get this big old box or this big old bag you're going to get a little, little, little package with your jewelry in there so like for my earrings well not these the earrings that I wore on my wedding day my necklace and my shades those are china post no. I'm shades them nice like first of all my love compare prices my love compare prices so I looked at the best option for buy them out here or buy them online and for those type of shades out here you're looking at fifteen hundred dollars to two thousand dollars because of the big fashion shades them right either way I am okay with shopping on AliExpress because I'm still I get value for my money and the things them look nice so it's a win-win so anyway you can save a little change why not go down that route you see me I say my swimsuits I think I paid five dollars for my swimsuits five dollars I don't remember as I said I'm going to leave the videos I'm going to put the videos in it so you can actually see how much money I paid for my swimsuits for my honeymoon stuff everything that I bought every single thing um, I messaged each of the sellers and I said listen this is for my honeymoon in October because as I said I ordered them in September right so I messaged each of the sellers and I said listen I need this to be here before the 19th right the 19th was here the 19th was a holiday so of course you know every year would be closed so I couldn't even go to the Korea to get the stuff on the 19th because the mother lock these are for my honeymoon they are very important so can you guys ship them right now and most of them said okay most of them said yes most of them ship them the same time who don't ship it the same time ship it the following day and who don't ship it the following day ship it in two days because you know china is 12 hours ahead so if my message them six o'clock in the morning is roughly 6 p.m there are some of them close off by that time some of them not all of them my hair i got my hair off aliexpress as well will you see how many look for wedding day yes my ear open <laughs> my hair took approximately if not four days five days to be delivered between four and six days my hair took to get to me you hear me say between four and six days I never buy nothing unlike it and it comes up with never 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 and the quality the packaging I am going to put the pictures there because I got it may exaggerate. Right. AliExpress. First of all, guys, Black Friday is coming up, and all of them things I wanna did one will never get before. Now was a good time to go on AliExpress and shop them. Black, they're having a sale for them. Black Friday start the twenty third. Black Friday is actually twenty seventh, so you can shop on AliExpress after the twenty third because that is when the sale starts the 23rd of November 
so you can go and shop all the good sellers they are very 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 i don't know we can't thank them enough and i sent some of them pictures because you know they wanted for put up and fitting thing or whatever and i also asked some of them that i asked their permission if it would be okay to include them in my video so whenever you're going on aliexpress please 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 check out these stores i bought and um i think it was a uh, what kind of material you call that it's, it's like it's a two-piece brown and white that yeah it's yeah check out them the two-piece green and white suit <laughs> oh my god my, my, and the material the quality oh god the moment i tell you i am not disappointed the shoes about i think in all about three pairs of shoes about a wedge heel about a flip-flop and about a sandal because I didn't have any sandals but anyway everything was absolutely perfect my flip flop fit me I'm have it on right now this dress is actually from Aliexpress come to think of it this dress is actually from Aliexpress um, one thing I would advise though for my sandal I ordered my size that I normally wear but one thing I would advise you for a much more comfortable fit or that size up so if you wear eight or that nine my my one fit me you know but it's because of the type of sandal it kind of close to it. so i would advise that you are that size up but my wedgie will fit me perfectly my flip flap fit me perfectly the only issue i had was with my sandals which i will put it there if the front is close to it so it did make me feel a bit uncomfortable probably that's why i'm never bother wearing it at all but everything else was absolutely fine absolutely awesome i hope this video was very helpful and if you guys have not watched my honeymoon vlog to actually see the outfits please go ahead and watch that vlog i'm going to leave that link in the description Part 2 of my honeymoon vlog will be up in a couple days. I cannot believe how well part 1 is doing. Like, I was like, mega wait until it reach 100 views. But it surpassed 100 views a long time. Like, people actually, you know. Yeah, that gave me the little boost somebody did need. And also, my skincare routine is up. You need to watch that as well. I'm going to be doing an updated routine. Right? on the mario Bedescu products remember to like comment share and subscribe and i will see you in a few take care of yourselves remember when you not go out put on a mask social distance and all these things